We have one character, the Wicked Witch, who has enormous power, magic power, and wants to use it for all the right reasons. Elphaba is a heroine to me because she is willing to sacrifice and give up everything for what she believes. You get to see all of her true colors and all of the beauty that's inside of this wonderful, different witch. Glinda is a little bit superficial. She's very privileged. The lines that may get a laugh from an audience are total innocence from her. That's the only way she knows how to verbalize something, and I adore that. And with an assist from me to be who you'll be, instead of dreary who you were, are, there's nothing that can stop you from becoming popular, Lar. The wizard is a charming man of limited talents in a position of power, and the only way he can keep that power is to convince the population that they're threatened by an outside enemy. Any of this sound familiar to you? I'm strict and I have high ambitions for myself and my girls. Madame Morrible's arc is interesting because she starts out fairly kindly and then I think her, my ambition takes me to a different part of my nature, perhaps a more wicked part. Yarrow Tickler is the prince. I don't think he really has a care about anything. I think he's always looking for a good time. Nothing matters, but knowing nothing matters. It's just life, so keep dancing too. Alphaba teaches Fierro to try harder, not to just let things be. She's trying to let him know that he has a lot more to offer to the world instead of just being this cool guy. Nessa Rose is the younger sister of our lead character, Elphaba. Their bond is close, but at the same time, Nessa Rose is spoiled. The relationship between Nessa Rose and Bach is definitely a very complicated relationship. Bach is a munchkin. He's in love with Glinda, um, who won't give him the time of day. And uh, Nessa Rose kind of has a um, psycho stalker situation happening and is a little bit um, too in love with Bach. Dr. Dillamund is a uh, professor, a teacher, who is a goat, who is one of the uh, last animals uh, teaching in Oz. Alpha comes into his class, who is totally different, and I think they feel a connection because of that. Now, I think uh, the example that he sets for her is an important one, to be proud of who you are, regardless of, of how you look. Part of the fun of the show is discovering these characters as we know them, not as we knew them from our earlier reference points. It was a kind of a tricky line to walk, marrying the fans of Gregory's novel, the fans of the film, and also to create this entirely new entity, which was our musical Wicked. And just to clear the air, I ask forgiveness for the things I've done you blame me for. But then I guess we know there's blame to share. And none of it seems to matter.